Welcome here, Game Maker has some sneaky and mostly overlooked mechanics that can make your process of making a game much more convenient. I personally use all of them and maybe you will use after this video them too. So if you found something new, give a thumbs up. And if you already knew all, well, you can give a thumbs up as well. This is OneUp Indie, I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and the programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a video. So let's start with a really easy one. So as you can see, I'm having this object and this create event with lots of variables, but you can see this little triangle just says variable reference once. But what does it actually mean? This is one of those Game Maker Studio new entries where it just checks your code and then it sees alright this variable is not being used at all in anywhere. So for example it's not used in the step event and nowhere else. So this is a nice indication for you just saying maybe you want to get rid of it. And so we do. And as you can see we have lots of lots of objects open and well there are quite a few and for example you can manually close them this is a hassle because sometimes I having I have opened like really really a lot and one thing you can do is just right mouse button windows so you can maybe jump on into one of those or you say close all and bam they are gone and maybe for example you need some more space and you see all right you can drag those things to the left so that they are gone but maybe we can do that a little bit faster and yes we can we just press f12 and bam that stuff is gone press f12 again and it's there um if you're using obs and you have it opened well it just cut my stream a few times so just keep that in mind that they, they're using f12 for both programs which is well, not the best idea if you want to record and do that little trick here. And the next thing is, if you're going into the code and for example you want to, I don't know, compare let's say tower 6 and tower 8 and they are having some step events and both are, well, maybe not the same. So for example you can go and take this one and drag it up here and drag this one up here as well. And now you can just well, toggle between those two, this is quite nice, and if you don't use them, just delete them and bam, they are gone. This is just a nice thing to access some stuff. And for example, well, maybe you're writing some code and you say, alright, I wanted to put in a region and this is a thing which is quite recent as well and I love it. A region and no and region uh, and region. Here we go. And this is a thing which I love. So for example, if you want to have a specific region and you don't want to show it, or maybe edit it later and open it up. So this is quite nice because some of my well entities, let's say that I control and that thing has quite a few things and as you can see a lot of uh, regions are created so I just ah okay this is for the upgrades this is for some special stuff and this is just for damage and equipment and, and also and this is how you can order your code because if you wouldn't be using it you have maybe it's gonna get longer and longer and longer and at some time it just becomes unpractical and the scrolling is just annoying so this is one way to order your code. So this is one of my favorite ones. Or for example, what I use a lot of times is, um, let's just go into here and come on, come on, we don't need you. And one of the things which I use is the FPS real. That thing is really, really nice because here you have a little benchmark where it just shows you the real FPS which you're having in your game. So for example you're doing some tests and see if you have some memory leaks and depending on how many objects the FPS wheel will change. So for example if you're having like only a few objects it would be like a five, six hundred 
and you if you are having a few ones and they all run some code well the FPS will go down so this is a benchmark for you to see well what you can do and maybe what you shouldn't be doing that you can for example I don't know go in the draw and say draw text and just um, put that one in here that of course we put in the drawer so this is one of the things which I use a lot of times as well and one of the last things which I wanted to show you is the exit function this is a very 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 good thing to use for example I'm having this little tower cannon and it shoots all the time and for example it says all right if there's an enemy just do some code here but for example if there's no enemy should we be doing all the code which is just going down here well no you can just say all right for example there's no enemy like uh, there's no instance of the object enemy there so we just say exit and after that everything is gonna get ignored which is kind of nice and saves some resources and maybe one last thing which I use is a marker so for example if you press on the left side you just create this little red dot and it basically does nothing but that for example you can use um, in your code and just say all right I want to mark it because I wanted to edit the code later on because maybe that is important for you hopefully those little things were of interest to you and if I forgot some just write it in the comments and well that was it have a good one one up indie